Sad day for Sears as the last store in the city of Chicago closes its doors today. Eyewitness News reporter John Garcia spoke to customers, employees of the store on the city's northwest side about this emotional moment. It is an icon for nearly 80 years, the biggest attraction of the legendary Six Corners intersection in the Portage Park neighborhood. But soon, the Sears store will be no more. Very sad. It's the only thing that's still here from when I was a kid. Everything else is, is gone. Bowing to competition from online retailers and other chain stores, Sears is closing the Six Corners location it first opened in 1938. But not without an opportunity for neighbors to look back at history. Dale Harris worked here for 47 years and knows the place intimately. He's leading behind the scenes tours of the store today. We have stairways that go nowhere. We have stairways that come from nowhere. Uh, we have doors that open up into brick walls. Soon those doors will be locked for good. That's why some former employees are coming back for a last look. Melanie brought her old name tag. She and Cheryl Calkerts are still friends after working here in the 80s. Curious to see behind the scenes and just check it all out, how it's all changed and sad that it's ending. The store is a neighborhood fixture and a city landmark. At one time, Six Corners provided more sales tax revenue to the city than any other neighborhood outside the loop. A lot of people talk about coming here as kids or with their grandparents or how they met their spouse here. The store is set to close its doors for good sometime in mid-July. They haven't announced the exact date, nor have they announced who, if anyone, will take over this space. In Portage Park, John Garcia, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.